Here's a really fun card trick. I call it the buddy system. It's a good trick too, and you can do this with a borrowed deck of cards or a regular deck of cards, whatever it is. You can, if you borrow a deck, it's even more amazing because you're not using any trick cards. You're just being a good magician. So here's what happens. We take the deck, get it all shuffled. You can shuffle it up yourself or you can have your spectator shuffle it and cut it. Point is, it needs to be all mixed up. And you're gonna tell them, I'm actually gonna predict the card that you're gonna pick long before you even pick it. So let's do that. So I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna make my prediction. Here's how it's gonna work. This one right here, I like that card. This is my prediction card. Now remember, you haven't even selected a card yet, but still, that's my prediction, and it's gonna stay in full view the whole time. Now I'm gonna ask my spectator to pick up the deck face up, and I want them to start putting cards down on the table face up like this. And I just tell them, just keep going until you've put down oh, a good size packet, 20 or 25 cards, around half the deck, whatever you want. They can stop wherever they want to. And let's say they stop there. Now we've got two packets of cards here, face up. And my prediction that's been in the full view the whole time, right? What we're going to do is take these two packets, put them face down, and I'm going to ask my spectator to just point to one of these packets. Whichever packet they point to is the one we're gonna use to do some real magic, okay? Let's say they point to this packet, say, okay, this will be the magic packet. All right, that's the packet you chose, and that's the packet that the magic is gonna happen. Now this other packet, let's see what it has on it. It has a four. So we're gonna use that number to do some magic over here. Remember, I chose a prediction card that's been out here. You chose this packet. Let's see what happens if we were to count down four cards. One, two, three, and four. Remember, we shuffled the deck, and then you split the deck into two halves. We picked a random number, and my prediction was out there the whole time. In fact, I predicted that you would pick a six that's red, and in fact, that's what you did. Red six. It's called the buddy system. Buddy system always works. And I'm gonna show you the secret to that right after this. Hi, this is Greg Hughes from Trapdoor Magic. You know what's inside this little box here? Well, hundreds and hundreds of amazing pro-level card tricks that you can do. Why? Because I teach you how. It comes with over 90 tutorial videos, step-by-step. -step. That's 15 plus hours of training to show you how to be a professional card magician. I've done magic for over 40 years. This is about 40 years of my card magic all in one little box. I'll teach it to you. But it's not just the training and all that, not just the secrets and methods. The stuff's in here too. The cards, the gimmicks, the trick cards, the pens, the dice, all the props and gizmos that you need to perform these tricks all inside this little box. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna teach you how to force cards. I'm gonna teach you about card stacking. I'm even gonna show you how to take a regular bicycle deck, turn it into a trick deck that you can do hundreds if not thousands of tricks with. Just tons of stuff. I'm gonna show you some sleight of hand that's really easy to do but will make you look like a pro. Well, you will be a pro because you'll be doing real pro level card tricks. So if you're interested in being a pro level magician, you should get this card magic training kit from Trapdoor Magic. Go ahead, you should get it. Okay, the buddy system trick is really easy to do. It's really fun and it's fairly amazing. And what you wanna do is get a deck of cards, all 52 cards would be important to have, and you wanna make sure it's nice and shuffled up. Now, here's the secret. Once the cards are all shuffled up, you're gonna start by making your prediction. And you, but before you make your prediction, there's something you need to know. You're gonna to need to know the value of the card on the top of the deck. Now, in this case, it is a four. Okay, well, how would I know that? Well, you just kind of take a little peek while you're shuffling up the cards like this and you're telling them I'm gonna make a prediction, you just kind of can do a quick peek. Sometimes you can just go like this as you're doing it or even as you're shuffling, you're going like this, you can see what the card's gonna be on the top of the deck, right? And so let's say we end up with, uh, you know, a four, right? Because that's where we were. Anyway, however you want to see the top card, you can do that. You can even spread them out and say, let's make sure the cards are all nice and shuffled. And as you do, just take a peek at that top card, or if you want to spread it out like this and say, okay, did we get them all shuffled? Okay, they look shuffled to me. What I'm really doing is doing what's called a peek, and I'm looking at that four. Now, that four is going to be used later. All I need to remember is the number four. I don't need to remember the card. I just remember, remember that count of four, okay? 
Now here's what's going to happen. I'm going to turn the deck over and I'm going to go look for my prediction card. Now here's what my prediction card is going to be. This is a little bit complicated, so pay close attention. I'm going to show you what I'm looking at as the magician. Normally I would do it this way so they can't see what I'm doing. But for this video, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Remember the number four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the deck like this. And I'm going to mentally count one, two, three, four. And I'm going to remember the fourth card is a black three. Right? Three of clubs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find the other black three. That's going to be my prediction card. So my prediction card is going to be the buddy of the fourth card from the bottom. One, two, three, four. So I'm looking at that and then I'm going to continue on until I find the three of spades in this case. Okay? So let me back up a little bit. All I did was I knew that the top card was a four. When I go to look at my prediction, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, make a note of that one, and then find its buddy, and then put my prediction card down. Now they don't see any of that. I'm only doing that this way. I'm going one, two, three, four. I'm seeing the black three, and then I'm going to find the three of spades. And here's my prediction card, and I'm putting it down in full view. Now we're just going to leave the deck as it is, and the rest of it will pretty much work on its own. So remember, I've made a prediction. They haven't even chosen a card yet. Next thing I want them to do is take the deck and put it down, uh, put cards down face up. Now we want them to go about halfway through the deck because we want them to go past that card. And we're gonna go like this. And it doesn't matter now how far they go because what just happened was they just put the three of clubs in the fourth position down here. One, two, three, four. That's what's happening. Okay, so now we're left with two packets face up and we go like this. Now I tell them, I want them to pick a packet and whichever packet they choose, that's the one we're going to use. And now this is really tricky. This is called the magician's choice because no matter which one they choose, we're gonna do what we want with it. If they choose this packet, like I did before, we're gonna say, okay, this is the packet we're going to use for the magic because this has got the card in it I want them to pick. Remember, I predicted the three of spades and I want them to end up with the three of clubs. So if I go like this, say that's the packet we're going to use. And then we're just gonna use this packet to count down however many this is. Oh, four. When we count down four, one, two, three, four, we'll see that they're gonna end up at the three of clubs, which is what I want. But you're probably asking, wait a minute, what if they don't pick that packet? Remember, this one has the three of clubs in the fourth position. This one has the four on top of it. What if they point to this one? It's okay. This is a magician's choice and this is how it works. We say, okay, I want you to point to a packet. That's the one we're gonna do the magic with. They point to this one and say, okay, watch, here's the magic. We're gonna turn that card over and that's gonna be the number that we use to find your card. Doesn't matter which packet they choose, we're gonna do the trick the same way. Okay, so we're gonna use that number to find your card. Let's see what your card is. One, two, three, and four. All right, so the four decided that we would go to the fourth position and we both happen to choose black threes. That's called the buddy system. It's a little bit tricky, I guess, but with practice you can do it. Let me give you a little tip when you're doing this trick. When you first start out and you're shuffling the cards and you're taking a look at that top card, you wanna make sure that top card is a number card, not a jack, queen, or a king, because that gets a little bit confusing because a jack's 11 and a queen's 12, and, but it's better if you use a number card, and especially one like two through 10. If it's an ace, that's a little weird too. So just keep shuffling the deck until you get a, a number at the top that's maybe a four, five, or a 10, something like that right so if and if it's not then just keep shuffling it you know just keep shuffling it up and take a peek at that it's okay there's an ace there i think i want a different card so i'm just, I'm just gonna get them all nice and shuffled now i can see the top card's a nine so with the top card being a nine i'm ready to do the trick and what will i do i'll make my prediction and i'll go down here i'm going to count down how many cards Nine, I'm gonna look at the ninth card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which I see as a two of spades, right? The ninth card, two of spades. So as I'm looking for my prediction, what do you think I'm looking for? Yeah, I'm looking for the two of clubs to be my prediction card, because I know they're gonna end up with the two of spades when we finish the trick. When they go down and they start making this pile, the card I want them to end up with is right there, which is gonna be the ninth one down. 
and they can go through about half the deck, something like that, and stop. Remember, when we ch turn these cards over, if they choose this deck, you know, we say, well, we're going to go down to the ninth card, and the ninth card, of course, is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to be the one that I want them to choose that matches my prediction, right? And remember, if they point to this one and they say, oh, this is the one that's going to do the magic, okay, then we'll put this here next to my prediction. That will be the magic deck. Let's see what this packet says. This packet says to go down nine cards. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You picked the two of spades. I picked the two of clubs. The buddy system always works. So what we're doing there is called a force. We're forcing them to choose the card that matches the prediction. I predicted the two of, cl uh, two of clubs. I'm going to uh, force them to choose the two of spades. And then we're also using that thing called magician's choice. When a magician says point to one, it makes it feel like they're making a decision. But really, we're going to do the trick the same way anyway, no matter which one they point to. So that's called the buddy system. It takes a little bit of practice, but if you get it down, it's really, really amazing, especially when you do it with somebody's borrowed deck of cards. So have fun with the buddy system. It always works.